Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm starting from the sanctuary today because it's closest to the location that I want to go to, of course. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do here is, remember that big rock that was past ye old potion maker? Remember that one? Well, we can now lift it up and go to the other side of it. And since I have over 500 rupees, I can do this side quest now and save myself the trouble of not having this item for the future. And now that I can pick up those rocks, it makes things, I should say, it makes it getting around a little bit easier than it was before, too, so that is a bonus. Anyway, this is the rock that I'm talking about here. Yeah! By the way, um, right here. Uh, wait, no, no, the, yeah, the Waterfall of Wishing is just ahead. That's the place that we are going to. And while we can't swim, we will be able to make it to the Waterfall with a little couple of little tricks here and there. If you'd like, you can shortcut like this here, but no, you know, that's not really necessary, actually. <laughs> the Waterfall of Wishing is just around the corner. Like this corner, but yeah, otherwise if you would, didn't break those blocks, you'd have to jump down here, and you'd have to go up there, and yeah, <laughs> but if you have the Pegasus boots, yeah, you can already break them, and of course you're going to have the Pegasus boots because you had to get the Titan mitts, I mean, you, uh, yeah, you had to get the Titan mitts to get this far anyway, so, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to, oh shoot, no, oh, no, 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 I was going to say avoid the crawl, but well, you just kind of kind of popped around anyway. That's okay, I suppose. So as you can tell, there's this shallow water that you can walk in. Well, this is like a water maze type thing, and we can hear the waterfall all the way from over here. So we are getting close. By the way, these guys that are popping out of the water are Zoras. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actual, the mean kind of Zoras, not the nice kind of Zoras from uh, uh, Ocarina of Time or... Never mind, not, I'm not talking about the other N64 Zelda game here, it's just, yeah. Okay, let's just, just go along this path, it's just, just okay. <laughs> so, where, uh, wait, is this the right, I think this is going to lead me to a dead end, actually. Uh, this upper path, yep, leads me to a dead end, that's what I thought. Because you got to kind of, like, weave through the water left and right while, walk, while looking out for bullets and stuff like that, because there's so many critters around here that it's just kind of crazy to kill them all, and that would be way, way too tedious to kill them all along the way. So, yeah, okay, this is the correct way now. Hey! Hey, what's going on? Ooh! Whoa! Oh, ha, ha. What do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? I want the flippers. I heard you have flippers. Remember this hint that we got earlier in the game about something that you can get from the water that'll help you swim? This is them. <laughs> well, I don't just give flippers away for free. I sell them for 500 rupees a pair. What do you do? I will pay 500. One pair of flippers going up. I will give you a free bonus with your purchase. I will let you use the magic waterways of the Sea Folk, which links lakes and rivers. When you see a whirlpool, dive into it. You'll never know where you'll surface. <laughs> and now, I don't have to worry about deep water bugging me anymore. <laughs> and you can also press... Yeah, which... Uh, I forgot which button it is to dive under said water. Uh, wait. Uh, oh wait, maybe I'm thinking of another Zelda game there, but you can't actually yet. Uh, wait, no, no, you can dive under the water in this game. Hold on, our R button, L button. I could have swore you could dive under the water. It's not X. Why do I keep playing? I keep pressing X anyway. <laughs> anyway, what I want to do uh, down this path is go over here and around this way. It's a piece of heart. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's one of the main reasons why I came down here besides the flippers because you will need the the flippers later on but you know gots to collect everything and I mean everything okay so this leads down to uh, this particular area here and now what I can demonstrate is something coming up very shortly here is uh, there is the whirlpool <laughs> uh, come on come on where's the whirlpool Oh wait, here's the whirlpool coming up, right here. Not, not the Zora whirlpools, no, 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 I'm talking about these guys right here. Yep, you can use them to warp all around the world in convenient fashion. Like, recognize where we are right here? Well, you probably don't, but, <laughs> but there is something over here. And it's something pretty good. See, uh, 
Uh, you can throw in rupees and eventually upgrade your bomb and arrow capacity. Uh, I don't really have all any rupees right now, and I like to <laughs> and I like to save them for now. But uh, yeah, for every like I think it's 100 rupees or something like that, or 200 rupees, uh, you can upgrade your stuff. You have a choice between bombs or arrows and whatnot. Very very nice find there. Uh, if you have ye old flippers, so do not forget about that. Do not forget about that. Let me in. Let me in. There you go. <laughs> yep. And this takes us. Remember this? Remember this? Yep, this is back up by the sanctuary. And I think that is the full cycle here. So now I'm going to go and cut back out until I get back over to the sanctuary. And here we are by the sanctuary. Why did I come back here? Well, because it's... Kind of like a central location that you know of by now, so you know where I came from and what the, where I'm going. Whoops, this is not the ledge that I'm looking for. The next destination that I'm going to is a place called Death Mountain. And that has the next uh, pendant of doom. Okay, not really. <laughs> but yeah, it does have a pendant, but it's not a pendant of doom. So we go in here. And it's dark. Once you jump down, can't go back for a little while. Well, actually, you can. You just go out. <laughs> just the, I poorly reacted there. Uh, but yeah, there's another way around here uh, somewhere. I kind of forgot uh, which way leads out uh, if you want to go out. But yeah, you can get out somewhere around these parts. Uh, I don't think this is it either. This is going to lead me to the entrance, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's all right. Well, that's another way of getting out, I suppose, but I'm talking about getting out if you were to, say, go into a door or something like that. But yeah. Anyway, there's this guy you meet up with. I don't know who you are, but if you're going the way, going up the mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so... All right. So, I'm going to talk this guy around. We're going to have a good time. Uh, watch your step. There are holes in the ground. Could you turn right here? Look, man, are you also looking for the, to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead of the mountain is... I mean, just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved in such a mad quest. Okay, I know he said to turn right, but I decided to go left. Just to show you it's a dead end. <laughs> and let's look uh, around here. Another dead end, but this time it's uh, loaded with keys. Yeah, neat. The keys always seem like when they go off the ground, they move in the same direction. Don't know why, but yeah, I just gotta kind of get the use to that. Uh, movement again. Uh, there must be a heart in the bottle. I uh, thank you. <laughs> How do you know this? <laughs> uh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter. Who is your age? The king took her to the castle and she never returned. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot. I'm sure he was trying to somehow use the power of the descendants of the wise men. Man, you certainly know a lot there. Yeah, see, they, they go around clockwise and they all night. That one didn't. Hmm. I guess it's just certain ones that decide to go, or I should say most of them that decide to go in that direction. I don't know. Anyway, we're out. <laughs> that, that was pretty much it. And now there's boulders. Boulders everywhere. And you can attack these little guys. Attack these little guys here and they'll turn the stone. And then they kind of, yeah, they kind of block your way here. And that that's kind of stinky. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> They're more annoying than anything in all honesty. But uh, anyway, it's the missing maidens are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. I wait for that day. Uh, these are dangerous times. I talk too much. Anyway, thank you for your kindness to an old man like me. Uh, I want to give you this. If you wander into a magical transporter, gaze into this mirror. Sorry, I had to move there. <laughs> and we get probably the most important item of the game. Although technically every item is most important because you can't make progress. Well, actually, some items are optional. So what am I saying? But anyway... You feel like it's going to absorb you into another world. And then he goes in here. <laughs> so what is, what's this? This is place. The wizard has deceived the king, and now he's trying to open the way to the dark world. To complete your quest, you'll need the moon pearl, which is in the tower on top of the mountain. All I can do for you now is to comfort your weariness. Thank you so much, because I hate that low health beep in this game with a passion. <laughs> in fact, I hate low health beeps in pretty much every game, really. It's, they're just terrible. I know I'm at low health. You don't have to keep beeping me. Now I'm at low health. Just beep once, everything will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> It'll inform the player that they are low in health. You don't have to keep going beep 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 like an alarm clock or something like that. It's ridiculous. 
Uh, anyway, I'm just around here to ah, to explore the caves just because. It'll be fun, I figured. Maybe we'll find some goodies, maybe we won't. This should lead back around the... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did I try and attack the pot? I'm too used to the pot-breaking item in other Zelda games, I guess. <laughs> and this is... Look at this, look at this, look at this. We go... Uh, hop down here. And we go down here. This is just merely a higher location to where we just were, yep. <laughs> so, th these caves wind all through the mountain and whatnot. Anyway, I'd like to have my weariness comforted again here, please, before I do my second run through here. I just wanted to show you that before I uh, uh, go through here and explore a little more thoroughly, I guess. Um, as you can tell, lanterns aren't really helpful in these parts because there's nothing really to light. That's why I haven't bothered to bring it out, and I've just had whatever in my inventory open. So, yeah. E. Okay, let's go around, and actually, I think that's all there was to explore here, wasn't it? Whoops! <laughs> Alright, I guess we're done in this cave. And that means we can take a look, see on the right side here. There's not really all that much to see on the right side. Please do not block my way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, at least... I mean, this is sort of kind of like a return trip area for later, like you see there's this bridge, and yeah, it's just something to keep in mind for later. I say that a lot, but this game, yeah, this game has gotten loads of stuff all over, and I'm trying to avoid hitting them because they're just gonna, yeah, like this. <laughs> like, they're sometimes just the worst, like that. <laughs> Alright, now, out of the way, please. <laughs> but don't worry, I've got fairies. Oh, by the way, those little guys' names, I just keep calling them little guys. They're known as Dread Rocks, and they really are dreadful. <laughs> just, just honestly, among the most annoying things ever. There we go! <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, now that you've seen this, I can go take the uh, upper route. I can't believe uh, my first quote-unquote, sort of, kind of, death of the game was by, uh, uh, boulders and dread, <laughs> dread rocks of all things. Alright, so this is the path, uh, back through the mountain. Uh, right through, here you go, around town, and kill off stuff if you'd like. And then you come to eventual, uh, like, sort of higher, uh, drop-off exit area, you'll see here in just a second. I'd just like to show you. La 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 la, do 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 do. Uh, a certain kind of enemy would be pretty annoying in here, by the way. <laughs> okay, and this is, remember that rock we picked up? Yep, that is where it leads to. Whoa, and we're out like magic, look at that. <laughs> now I'm gonna climb this super, super large ladder type thing. Actually, I'm not sure if it's a ladder or a staircase, perhaps a staircase. And then I'm gonna do a little jump down to one of these caves here. Uh, one of these caves contains something that I would most li Oh, these are the enemies that I was thinking of would be awful in a diagonal area. Moldorm Juniors! They, they bounce around randomly, they don't, th they don't go for you per se, but the thing about them is because they're so random, they're hard to predict their movement at. And, yeah. <laughs> Not as annoying as the Dread Rocks, but still pretty annoying. I don't think this is the cave that I was looking for. This does lead to a, uh, uh actually, <laughs> because I, I lost the fairy here. There we go, and now I'm out of here. <laughs> So yeah, this one, this is the one that leads to the fairies. Um, there's another one that leads to a heart piece, which is why I jumped down there. I, I just forgot which ones contain said heart piece and which one didn't. It's probably the last one I'll pick, just because. <laughs> now this that saying is, in my opinion, more of a joke than anything. You know the whole um, uh, it's always the last place you look thing because it'll always be the last place you look because you don't have to look anymore once you are done looking <laughs> you know you know once you find what you're looking for and okay this is probably the cave that I'm looking for so let's go through here is this the one I th I think this is the one because this path this path leads around um, uh, the mountain and you can yep this is the one and then you can jump down to a uh, lower thing up here <laughs> Link, it is I. You must somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle Rock. From there, you can reach the Tower of Hera on top of Death Mountain. But for now, I'm gonna jump down here. 
<laughs> it's possible to see that hole from a different side, but uh, um, obviously I didn't take that particular route because it's just, you know, faster to go that way, and yeah, because why would I take um, the other route first? Well, I mean, I guess I could have showed you the other route first, uh, the, the teaser route, I guess you could say, um, to say, hey, uh, this is where you'd see it, there's a heart piece, and this is where you should be looking around at, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe the teaser route is actually is actually right here. You go here. Yep, there's a teaser, and you see the heart piece at the top of the screen if it was still there. <laughs> All right, so now we're getting to the climax of the area here. So here we see this portal type square here, and it, it really is a portal <laughs> to another world. And I'm a bunny. What the? What? What the? Huh? What? What is this craziness? I don't have my sword. I can't use anything. What? My buttons are locked except for the map screen. The the world. It it looks completely different. What? What? Well, maybe not completely different, but close. <laughs> what, what do you want? You have something to say to me, silly rabbit? Tricks are for kids. Ah! I came here to get the power of gold, but now I'm a freak and I can't get back to the real world. If only I had the moon pearl from the Tower of Hera, I could go back to my original shape. I've got good reason to be stressed out, so back off! Shoo! Shoo! And this one? Oh! You, Mr. Bunny, the world is like the real world, but evil has twisted it. The golden powers will change your shape to reflect what is in your heart and mind. I am always changing my mind, so I turn into a ball. But if you have a ball called a moon pearl, you can keep your original shape here. Interesting. Oops. Interesting, isn't it? Now, remember that mirror that we got? Well, well, what do you say we select that and use it about here? See this carving, I guess you could say, of the land? Use it right here. And look at this, look at this. See, the world is not quite the same. And that means we are able to get on top of here and get this heart beast. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. And I'm gonna hop down here because there's a little bit more uh, I'd like to show here before the ends of the part. This is the Tower of Hera. Here, uh, whatever it is. And over here, um,. Is another one of these sorts of translation tablets. I don't think I can do this right now. Uh, oops, uh, hold up the Master Sword and you'll get the Magic of Ether. So, yeah, I can't get this now. I need the Master Sword. Be back later. BBL. <laughs> and uh, here is the tower. The next dungeon. But uh, let's peek over here first. <laughs> uh, there's this bridge over here. And you'll probably notice. Yep, you can't get through it. <laughs> That's a, that's pretty much a dead end here, and you can't really see much of anything else here. So speaking of BBL, I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I start the Tower of Hera. Hera. Whatever!